Hi everybody, thanks for tuning into this video. Um, we are going to do a physics experiment today, which is all about protecting this beautiful egg. Uh, this experiment we're going to do today is known as the physics egg drop. It's a classic physics experiment. Uh, you can find lots of ideas online on how to carry out this experiment yourselves. Uh, it's really good fun. As a teacher I've done this many times in my physics classes at school, uh, but today I'm going to attempt to do it with my child, my little boy Max, who's almost uh, three this summer. Um, so a little bit of toddler science, if you will. It's very simple to do. Uh, all you need is some eggs that you're not going to want to cook with. So we've got three eggs today uh, that we are going to use in our experiment. All of these eggs are sort of, you wouldn't cook with them now, they're past their date. Um, and we're going to be building little things that the egg goes into which we're then going to drop from a great height and we're going to use uh, Max's bedroom window to throw these eggs out of and we're going to see if they can survive on their journey as they fall from the sky down to the ground. Uh, we're going to use whatever materials we've got in our house, so nothing special is required here at all. So we're going to use bubble wrap, we're going to use some kitchen roll, some old plastic tubs, uh, a bottle, some cocktail sticks and some cups and it's really good fun. So get your kids involved in this, uh, get adults involved in this as well and make predictions because that's one of the greatest things about doing a science investigation is make a good prediction, uh, make a guess as to what you think is going to happen to the egg, which egg do you think will break in which container as it gets plummeted from a great height. Uh, you're going to see in a moment some varieties of designs that we're going to put together and you can make predictions on this video as well, uh, which ones work, which ones will not work. Uh, don't worry if none of them protect the egg because that's terribly exciting for kids to be able to see that and the best part about this experiment is when the egg cracks and it breaks outside. It must be an uncooked egg, don't go cooking it because that's nowhere near as exciting. Uh, if you can't do it from a window you could do it from a stairwell but just have a tub at the bottom to catch the egg in case it breaks into as well but definitely make those predictions. As we said before, we're just using any old household materials that we can find and we'll show those off in a moment's time as well. Uh, if you enjoyed this video today, please post things below the video on our Facebook page of you having a go at these experiments at home yourself uh, and any tips and tricks that you've found that have worked well for you also. Now this is quite a sort of a, a quick and dirty method of doing this today. Uh, we're not going to spend uh, hours building our designs and our contraptions, but of course you could. If I was in a classroom with my kids at school, uh, this is something we would spend a whole lesson doing as well. Uh, but Max is going to come and give it a go now and help with it. So uh, join us as we carry out our physics egg drop experiment. Shall we make our egg spaceships? Have look. What? What is it? It's a bit of a fly on the window. It's a bit of a fly on the window, yes. is it? Okay, should we go make our egg spaceships? Yeah! Come on, in. up to your bedroom. Come on. A funny face on your egg. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Max's astronaut. Awful joke, I know. Uh, uh, I know, careful on your finger. We're just doing it on the egg. Now, what are you drawing on your egg, Max? Drawing a funny face. You're drawing a funny face. Okay, be careful. Good boy. Well done. Would you like to? So spaceship number one is uh, an empty cornflower tub. This and, and, I, and, I put, uh, and I put a drawing on here. Yes, you did. Now inside this tub, I've basically filled it with kitchen roll to pad it out. It is metal, so I wonder if that's going to be an advantage or a disadvantage when we put the egg inside. And we're making these. We are making those. And inside of that first one is a plastic container with a little bit of bubble wrap and some kitchen roll inside and basically it's all going to go together like that. The egg's going to go in the middle and it's going to be thrown outside the window. Number two, Max is currently holding it at the moment but he's holding it upside down. Max, what's this? Um, this is a parachute. Good boy, we're making a parachute on the second one. So can I show people? So this one's more like a bed. It's uh, basically a plastic tub with another plastic bag on the outside, some kitchen roll on the inside, elastic and band. Goes, and 
this does bang, bang, bang. It might do, yeah. And this, and this time bang, I thought bang, I would add a little good. parachute. It's not the greatest parachute, but it's a little parachute at the top here, which hopefully when drops on the window will open, give a little bit of air resistance and cause this to slow down slightly. And then number three, finally, Max, what do you think of this one? Stickers on. You did put stickers on that, didn't you? This is a kind of a wild does, card, really. And this does be two on blast off. Two on blast off, yeah. So these two cups are basically the eggs are going to go in the middle. I've put some J cloth in the middle, no. some more kitchen roll underneath. No. But this time no. I've put these cocktail sticks on the bottom, a bit like no. a, a spacecraft that lands on another planet, hoping that if it lands no. that way, these sticks will absorb any of the impact when it hits the ground. Who knows, it may also push the sticks through the cup and crack the egg. So it's a bit of a gamble, but I thought instead of just dropping one cup like that, can I borrow that, Max? I'm gonna stick two cups together like that, close them in the middle, and then sort of see how it falls through the air. Now, Max, which spaceship do you think will work the best? Do you think it will be this one, the green one, do you think it will be this one with the parachutes, or do you think it will be this one with the tub? Which one do you think will work the best? Which one? This one. Max is pointing to this one. Max thinks this one with the egg inside in a protective tub dropped straight down will work the best. We will soon find out. Right, Max, do you think it might be time to put the eggs in? Yes. Yes, put the eggs in and then see what happens. All right. Okay, Max, are you ready to put your egg in? Yes. Go pop it in there for me. Good boy, well done. So our first well egg done. is in. Excellent. Okay, Max, second egg. This second egg is going in its little bed in there. Pop it in its little bed for me. Good boy. And then we pull its little blankie up, get him nice and cosy inside his bed like that. Fantastic, well done. And then our third egg is going to go inside here. Hurry up here, Mummy. Max, what are we going to be doing now? We're going to build a parachute house. Are you? Yes, we are. Okay, so we're going to do our first one. You ready, Max? So here's our first one. Are you ready? Don't drop it till Daddy says. You ready? Have you got it? Yes. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, I think I can see it. Who knows? We're going to check it out in a minute. Here is our second one. Max, are you ready? Yes. Oh, good boy. You ready? Three. Two, one, go. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> what happened then, Max? We found it on the next one. And the next one? No way. Right, here's our final one. This is our cornflower one. We've just taped it over the top a little bit. Max, are you ready to do this? Okay, hold it like that. Good boy, lean it out the window. Are you ready? And in three, do you want to count down for me? Three, two, one. Stretch it out a bit. Stretch yeah. it out a bit so it doesn't hit the windshield. Go forward a bit. There you go. You ready? Three, two, one. Go. What do you think happened, Max? That 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 fell down the window. It did, didn't it? <gasps> right then, should we have a look, Max? Look at this one first. Over here, come look at this one. What's happened to that one? Let's dip it up that way. Oh, is there any egg? Oh no, what's happened to the egg? What's happened to the egg? It, it broke. It broke, didn't it? Oh no, so that one didn't work, did it? Should we check this one over here? How about this one? Did this one work? Oh, look Max, what's that? Oh, Max, more egg. Oh, it broke too. It did. But what about this one on the inside? Let's have a look. No. Let's just set the camera down. Let's have a look. Take off some of this sellotape and we'll have a look. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Are you ready? Should we see what it did inside? So let's take this open. Did the egg crack or did it survive? Oh no, I think it's cracked. Can you see it inside? Oh, there's all slimy egg. Oh, there it is. Look, coming out. Oh, what happened to that egg? What happened, Max? It broke. It did break, didn't it? So unfortunately, all our eggs 
Landers did not survive, but we can go back to the drawing board and make some more, but really good fun as well. Max, did you like doing this? Yes. Excellent. All right, there we have it, folks. So our egg landers didn't unfortunately work, but yours might, and it's worth going away and practicing. And Max, did you enjoy doing that? Did you, did you like making those? Did you like it? I think there's excitement to just like it. So, there's only one thing left to do when your egg landers don't work, and that's eat your child. Max, say bye. Say bye to everyone. Say bye. Say bye.